Good morning. Happy Monday. I'm the Mother Mama. How are y'all doing today? We are still in the solstice eclipse new moon energy that happened in Cancer a few days ago. And um, wow, what a time. How are you guys feeling? I know I've been very, um, how have I been feeling? I've been feeling pretty internal, which is very Cancerian. Um, cancer is the very bottom of our natal chart and and also um, the bottom of our psyche. And so it's a it's a deeply internal feeling and um, it's it's a profound opportunity to revisit you know how we became who we are. One of the things that I've been doing is just I just got out of a bath and um, just sitting there and remembering what it was like when I was a child, like like what I felt like, not the environment, not who my mother was, not who my grandmother was, not my friends, but what it felt like to be inside of my body as a child. And one of the things I'll do to tap into that is just sit in water because water holds memory. <laughs> water, is a, water is completely alive. That's the most profound thing ever to me. It's like water is completely alive, like we are all completely alive. And so I'll sit in water to just to trigger memories and um, to remember what I need to remember and what I need to recall. And one of the things that I remember as a child is that I was, I was, I always knew what was happening. Like I knew what was going on. Look at there's a moth. <laughs> I knew what was going on, um, even though I didn't have language for it. And that's that's the thing that's very significant that I remember the most as b being a child was that I didn't have language for things, but I knew, I felt everything. I knew when my mother was unhappy. I knew when my grandmother was, you know, afraid. I knew when, you know, my grandmother didn't have enough money. Like I just always could feel what was going on. And that is the power of childhood. It's, it's, a, it's a power and an energy because we are very sensitive as children. And what happens is we we mature and we become more conditioned by the culture and the need to fit in. Um, and really it's just conditioning, you know, it's just being taught that this is okay and this is not okay or, or um, you know, and yeah, just the conditioning. One of the things that I've realized raising a child is that everything here is all just made up. It's like America is a big amusement park and <laughs> we've created all these systems that support, you know, the functioning of the amusement park. But the thing that I've seen is that it's so out of alignment with nature. It doesn't connect us to a deeper aspect of ourselves. It actually takes us away from ourselves with the foods that we eat and the way that we relate to nature and the way we're mothering our planet is how we are mothering ourselves. And we all learned it in this conditioned experience that is, you know, the Western world. Um, and in my case, it's America. And so what we're up to now, you know, as I was saying, this cancer, new moon, eclipse, um, solstice, cancer is the nurturer, the mother, the inner reality, um, it's like what you feel on the inside and it's the subconscious as well. It's, you know, cancer governs the ocean um, or the moon pulls the water in the ocean. So it, it's pulling, ener it's magnetizing to you energetically experiences that are in your subconscious. So that's why I go into the bathtub and, and emerge myself in the water so that I can remember things that are necessary to help me live my life today. And one of the things that's been coming up as we're moving through this um, eclipse energy is for me personally, and everybody has something coming up. If you listen to the stories you're telling to yourself or the experience you're having in your life, you know what's going on in your subconscious. That's how you tap your subconscious by, if you're not conscious of it the way that I am, you can just Look and see what's happening in your life. What stories you're telling yourself? But you know, are you going through something with a lover? Are you are you in a money experience where things don't feel like they're flowing? Are you you know? Does your home feel cluttered? Like all of that is your subconscious stuff. So for me, my subconscious lately has been bringing up experiences of abandonment, 
And when I was a child, that was my overwhelming energetic experience, but I didn't have a language for it, was that I felt abandoned by my parents. And, um, and you know, because I've done the work and I'm not at odds with my parents any longer, I can see how those experiences energetically imprinted me and how I'm still playing them out today. And so what happens for me is when I find myself getting close to someone, intimacy terrifies me. <laughs> oh my God, I'm about to sweat saying it. I can't believe I'm saying it out loud. <sighs> intimacy terrifies me. It terrifies me because I didn't have that with my mother and my father. We didn't have that deep connection. So it's almost when I feel myself getting close to someone or moving into an intimate experience that is outside of my brain patterning from my childhood, it occurs as it, like I begin to, <gasps> energetically, I begin to, oh yeah, look, I, I tore my thing. I tore it. It's okay. It is what it is. Um, I begin to energetically um, like freeze up and tighten and so because i've been doing the work i'm starting to recognize that pattern and i'm able to take responsibility for it without making you know what happened in the past like that would come up and then immediately i would move into a you know oh this person is doing something to me oh my god like i would i would start to clamor or or grab or um or retreat and now I'm seeing it and I'm like, ah, this is what that is. Okay, okay, it's shitty, it's shitty, but I can do it, I can do it. And so I've been having an experience with a friend of mine who is such a gift. We are, I would say we're colleagues, right? I would say that we're colleagues, but we're friends. We're colleagues, we're friends. And I've been, I've been sharing with him my experience of it and he's been helping me walk myself through it um, in this most profound way that is deeply healing and bringing me home to myself. And when I tell you, ah, oh, abandonment, the, the, the beliefs around being abandoned are illusions because we cannot abandon ourselves. It's not possible for us to abandon ourselves. We're always with ourselves, whether we know it or not. We're never alone. And just the one, just who we are, means we're never alone. Like we have this identification with the other that would have us feel like having someone with us makes us feel connected and not like we're not alone. But the reality is that it's when you're with yourself that you're never alone. And then you attract people who reflect to you how you are with yourself. Isn't that something? What a gift it is to understand that. And I hope that all of you can hear me and tap into it because, and so you get to check in and see how are the ways you abandon yourself? How are the ways you reject yourself? And it's, you know, for me, this is like, this is delicate work because it takes my breath away. It makes me, ah. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. And so as we're moving through the Mercury retrograde, because the moon is in cancer right now, the new moon, the sun, all of that's in cancer. And Mercury, the mind, how we think is also in cancer. So we're in this Mercury retrograde energy. And Wednesday, um, Kenya K. Stevens and Kelly and I are going to be doing our second Mercury retrograde course. You can register here where we're going to be teaching the venting process teaching you how to vent and process your trauma, your energy, so that you can begin to see yourself and experience yourself in a new way. And if you haven't seen that yet, you can check out my video here. But this Mercury retrograde energy is going to help us bring up that old energy, that, that old, those old psychic patterns, those old internal patterns, and then begin to reframe them so that we can create them anew. And then next Wednesday on July 1st, we are going to do a community lacing where we're going to do the reprogramming of ourselves so that we can now like not have these traumas anymore. We're going to do, so we're going to do a lacing on Wednesday coming and I mean on we're going to do a not a lacing, I'm sorry about that. We're going to do venting, the venting, the up level process, the up level communication process that Kenya has written a book about. 
And we're gonna do that on Wednesday, the 24th. And then on July 1st, we're going to do a community lacing. So I encourage you to register for this class, but the new moon today, the moon today is in Cancer and we're still in the eclipse energy and today is a moon day. And so this is a fantastic day for you to explore your early childhood patterns, your early childhood patterns, your early childhood experiences and beliefs, your connection to your mother, your connections to your um, the feminine lineage in your in your own way of being, right? It's like what did what meaning did you make from witnessing your mother? And the thing that it's so important to understand is that all of this is made up stuff. You can your mind will believe whatever you tell it to believe, and it will create whatever you want it to create. And so it's important to get clear about how you made agreements that are out of alignment with who you really are. And now that you're an adult, you can begin to see it in a new way. You have to forgive your parents. You really have to forgive them. You have to let them off the hook. And forgiving them doesn't mean that you have to be best friends with them or that you have to you know, um, agree with who they are or, or what they did, but you have to, you have to neutralize the energy around um, your experiences with your parents. You have to be able to see it from a bird's eye perspective. You have to be able to look on it and see, oh, she did that and that made me feel this way. And okay, this was this is where that feeling came from. And so now I'm gonna be different. I'm gonna do some, I'm gonna do some lacing around. I'm gonna do some trauma healing. I'm gonna move some energy in a different way. I'm gonna do Reiki, whatever it is you're gonna do to heal it. But you have to forgive your parents so that you can shift into a new reality otherwise you're stuck in the same patterns and they don't change so for those of you thank you for signing up for the venus retrograde course venus is going actually going to be going direct this week and then we have a shadow period of about six weeks so the venus class is still good for about another six weeks we, we do the classes while the energy is retrograde and so the mercury retrograde is what's happening now we're just a few days into mercury retrograde I encourage you to sign up for this course. They have a live, we have a live course coming on Wednesday for the up-level communication and another live course next Wednesday for the community lacing where we're going to begin to re-chart re the energetic programming within us. And that's what this course is about. That's why you're doing the work to look at your family lineage, where you come from, who you are. And this is the thing that I care most about. It's just how do we really change the patterns within us within us, take responsibility for everything going on inside of us. You got to take responsibility for every thought, every feeling, every choice. It's all you. It's no one else out there. It's not your mother. It's not your father. It's all you. And it's such a fascinating thing because one of the things that's important as we move in into the feminine energy, you know, understanding the feminine, the feminine is the lead. Like we are the, we create the material reality. And what's happened is that we have given the masculine the dominion over the material reality. We have we have um, we have submitted our power, and and then that makes us feel like we've been abandoned. That makes us feel like we don't have power because we have abdicated it and given it to another. And that's not the we are the power centers. We are it, and so it's important for us to understand that we're creating the reality. Um, and that no one can abandon you, you abandon yourself, you know, like, so that's the thing that I'm learning about abandonment right now, that I have been abandoning myself, and so I'm working to bring myself home to myself and take full responsibility for everything that's going on with me. All right, peace and blessings, everyone. Have a wonderful day, and I love you all so much. Bye-bye.